Hello Enchanted Ones, welcome back to another video. Today I will be showing you two simple ways to make over your witchy bookshelf. There are so many books I have purchased that don't mix with my aesthetic and today I will be showing you how I made them aesthetically pleasing to me and my practice. But first, if you want to see more content like this, don't forget to subscribe and like. But for now, relax and keep on watching. I have two main types of book I'd like to make over today. A hardback book and a paperback book. Obviously there is a big difference in how you can decorate each type. So I will begin with these paperback encyclopedia books I use in my practice. These are great books but I don't vibe with the colours. So I'm going to create a slip on cover to mask them. I purchased some A1 shiny card from a craft shop. And firstly, I drew around the book's shape, making sure I really got the measurements right on each side. I also added half a square on each side of the shape so the cover could wrap around and within the book. I then cut this out and using the book to help me, scored down each line with scissors making the fold crisp and also making it easier to bend into shape. It really was that simple to make the cover. But next, I wanted to decorate this. I wanted beautiful scroll writing on each book. But I'm not very good with a calligraphy pen, so in order to create mine, I penciled on the words first, and after the designs were done, I then went over with the biro, adding depth into certain places to make it appear thicker. You get a really lovely calligraphy effect with this, without the hard work of working with ink and hoping for the best. Next, I chose a limited palette of colours that I would use on each book. I wanted the books to look like they were a set, so I chose white, cream, black, and then colours for each that were all quite muted and would tie well together. I also wanted them to tie together with certain elements, so I did a few techniques. First, I sponged cloud-like shapes onto each cover, and I felt like this really created a mystical quality. Then, finally, using this swirly stamp, I stamped all eight corners of each book. And I loved this effect so much, it was the final touch it really needed. After they dried, I slipped the covers onto the books, and there you go. It was really that simple and effective. I then turned my attention onto the hardback books. You really have a lot of options when it comes to hardback books. You can experiment with a lot of different mediums, as I do today. The first I use is something I've shown before, and it's a personal technique I made up called the levering effect. It isn't using real leather. All you need is foam, tissue paper and glue to achieve this. I firstly cut out the foam to fit onto the back and front covers of the book, avoiding in the seams where you open the book. This would cause problems if the foam were there. I then glued these onto each side and simply teared small pieces of tissue paper and then glued them on top. When this is dry, the softness of the foam and the crinkliness of the tissue paper will really feel and look like leather. And it is so cheap to do. 
because of the hard seam, we are lucky enough to work with this too. And I'm going to add raised banding to mine. I do this by cutting small pieces of the foam out, arranging them along the seam, and again covering them in tissue paper. After the shape of the book was complete, I turned my attention to the detail. I have these mini crystals which I picked up from my local crystal shop and sieved through them to see what stood out to me. After this, I arranged them on my book and glue gunned them on for secureness. To build up the shape around them, I used clay. This was very simple to do. All you need to do is roll out thin pieces and then wrap them around. So I wrapped them around each crystal and then I drew a design on in pencil in which I would build up in clay. After your clay is set, it is time to start painting. I mixed brown with a little black to create an oldie worldie style, but you can use any colour you like. After I covered everything, I painted black around the edge of the book, which I then gradiated out to the brown. It really drew attention to the centerpiece. And after this, I painted the raised clay gold. I had one more book to design in which I completely improvised and had fun with. So sit back and enjoy the process. I'm so happy with how my books have turned out. They will inspire me when I look at them and they don't stick out like sore thumbs anymore. Do let me know what book you like best in the comments and what you think you'd do differently. Thank you so much for watching this video, Enchanted Ones. If you'd like to see more videos like this, I have a witchy makeover on my book of shadows, which will link in the description box below. All my love, Alwyn.